This is a fairly old technology, but it's one that has been majorly simplified in recent years to be more user friendly, um, requiring less knowledge of wood drying and operating the equipment and so on. Um, so it's a really a big leap forward uh, for the plate drying technology, uh, which is what which is what this is. It's a the difference fundamentally is that we use aluminum hot water heating plates to heat the wood rather than airflow. And it, that means that the machine's a little bit more complicated and expensive, but extremely fast and really efficient and um, provides the flattest, highest quality lumber. So that is the kind of category of vacuum dryers or kilns that we're talking about is a heating plate style contact heating uh, kiln, something that we have had a patent on for a long time. And the, the benefit is really for anybody drying wood, there are, there are many benefits, but the greatest benefit to this particular drying technology is uh, mostly realized by furniture manufacturers, flooring manufacturers, um, manufacturers of moldings and different millwork for, for the lumber industry. So although the sawmill has the benefit of producing really high quality lumber really fast, the people in our industry that gain the greatest benefit from this drying technology are in the in the category where they are actually producing more of a finished product. And the reason is because the lumber is dried, not just fast in the turbo, but extremely flat and with extremely high quality, um, especially the flatness provides them with a piece of wood that they can make their product out of with a much higher yield and throughput. And so what I mean by that is that if lumber is very flat and you're making almost anything out of it, when you then are not required to plane it, sand it, uh, mold it, and work with it to turn it into a flat, uh, perfectly square, nice piece of wood. It's, it's actually almost ready to go in its dry, rough lumber state. And in other words, you could, in many cases, just take lumber out of the kiln, put it through a molder, for instance, to turn it into molding or flooring or some kind of a, a dimensional wood product. Whereas if it was coming out of a conventional kiln, it's likely cupped, twisted, bowed, and therefore needs to be uh, plain, a lot of times ripped, cross-cut, and planed into a square flat dimension of wood before it can go through that molding process. So a lot of our customers that use this technology have the benefit of being able to skip one, two, or three different very labor intensive and expensive processes in their product and the manufacturing of their product. So that's huge. So that provides with a lot of, there's a lot of yield improvement there. In other words, the if you have 15,000 board feet of wood in this kiln, a much higher percentage of that wood is going to be usable as a finished product. We've heard from customers up to 30, even 40% more uh, wood or yield from the same pile of wood because it's coming out so flat and straight. Um, so that yield is money, right? That's 30% less wood that you had to buy and process and pay for. So there's a huge return on investment for this technology and the yield. Um, throughput is the second big benefit for people making wood products out of the lumber that comes from this kiln. And, and by throughput, we mean the speed at which you can, and efficiency by which you can put the, this wood through the downstream manufacturing processes. So molders, planers, rip cutting, uh, and so on. This wood is so much flatter, straighter, and more stable 
that it moves through that machinery much faster and more easily. And so it goes through those processes faster. Of course, if you're considering the fact that you may be able to skip some of those manufacturing processes, then the throughput is astronomically improved because you're just moving past some of the manufacturing process uh, for a typical cabinet maker, flooring manufacturer, molding producer, and so on. So, so the benefit to the turbos, the first thing people see and think of is speed. And that is true that the benefits of speed are our inventory reduction, carrying cost reduction, um, being more agile to the changing markets. So changes of taste and preference for different species, dimension of wood products, you can, instead of holding a million board feet of four quarter red oak, number one common, hoping that that's what the industry is going to want to continue to uh, get your wood product made into, um, you can change every day if you wanted to, every other day, you could dry what is demanded for your for your wood products, different species and so on. So that agility is really important. The ability to hold less inventory because we are removing much of the drying as a bottleneck in manufacturing is a big benefit. Um, but the, the speed is really secondary to the quality in this case. So being able to drive fast is impressive, but it's meaningless without quality. And it's actually the quality where all of the return on investment for this type of technology lies. So that's that's really the, the biggest benefit. Um, there's some other benefits to this type of technology as well. There, uh, for the volume of lumber that they produce, uh, they take up a very small footprint. They require a uh, significantly less energy uh, for instance, even our biggest turbo line, our product is the iDry Turbo Pro, dries up to 15,000 board feet at a time. And you're turning that kiln one or two times a week and putting out an enormous amount of, you know, truckloads of wood per week. But it only has one small gas boiler as a uh, heat source. There's no requirement for a great big steam boiler, low pressure, high pressure steam boiler. And so the, one of the major benefits to a lot of the com bigger companies out there with conventional drying is if their boiler is obsolete, is requiring a lot of maintenance, uh, just simply a lot of energy, or maybe in a lot of cases, they're trying to expand their drying capacity at that site, but the boiler that they have is tapped out. It has no more capacity to add kilns. In this case, it doesn't matter because we're going to drop this machine on the ground, uh, it's usually in a building, and then plug it in and load it with wood. It's a really simple, fast installation um, relative to a conventional kiln of the same capacity or throughput. Um, and there's no major boiler required. It's a small, really small gas boiler um, and, a, and one electrical connection. So that's another big benefit of buying a drying machine versus building a essentially a drying building like a conventional kiln process. Um, it's also, like I said earlier, it's very easy to use. Um, most of our customers have never dried wood before and don't have a trained kiln operator on site, which is also becoming a, a major problem for the the larger segment of the industry. Um, there's a huge shortage of educated conventional kiln operators out there. And if anybody has operated or been around a conventional drying operation, they know it takes a huge amount of responsibility and training and uh, attention. And without that person that has that experience, you can ruin millions of dollars worth of wood really fast because you have 50, 100,000 million board feet of wood drying all at the same time. So there's a lot at stake there and it creates a lot of pressure for the, for the company to find a, a person to operate the, the conventional kilns and for the operator to, to not screw up. Whereas the iDry turbos are fully automated. You load it, 
uh, close the door and press start and the drying process is automated and very safe uh, for the wood requires very little kind of attention during the process you can see what's going on uh, with the drying but it when it's done it's done and you press stop and pull it out take a few kiln samples making sure that your wood is dried to the moisture content you were looking for and then simply unload it um, so that's a uh, another huge benefit the loading on a, and unloading of the iDry turbo line is more complicated than our our other vacuum dryers being that, well, I, sh I shouldn't say it's really more complicated, it's really different. Instead of putting stickers in, you know, every foot or so, two feet um, spacing between each layer of wood to provide for airflow, like in a conventional process, um, the turbo line of kilns uses these aluminum plates placed between each layer of wood. And those plates are heavy. Um, can be awkward to handle. And so we have material handling solutions for that, but it's different than the conventional process. So if a company is already set up to sticker lumber they're, and they're moving to this particular technology versus our other vacuum dryers that use stickers, then they're faced with adding our stacking system, which is as simple as a small gantry crane um, that's, very basic and affordable and easy to use, or for the iDry Turbo Pro, which is uh, has very large heating plates, 27 feet by eight feet, then you're, you're looking at a fully automated vacuum stacking system, which can be run by one operator and is really kind of remarkable. It loads the plates onto the layer of wood and the full layer of wood from several piles of wood all at once onto the plate and builds up this sandwich of heating plates and wood automatically. Um, and then we have a trolley system. Uh, it's a remote control system to pull that pile of wood off of out from under the stacker, roll it down to the kiln that you're loading and then put it in the kiln. So that, that a, a building full of say eight or 10 I dry turbo pros, which would be drying, you know, millions and millions of board feet a year, 10 million plus would be, could be operated by one or two people. Um, so it's a, it's not very labor intensive. Um, it just requires a stacking, a stacker, just as if a comparable conventional kiln operation was, was being installed, they would need a stacker to put stickers. Um, so those are some of the considerations. Um, yeah, it's the it's the most advanced, most sophisticated, uh, simplest to use drying process out there, and we've been doing it for you know thirty to forty years in one form or fashion. But in the last five years, we've really simplified it with the iDry Turbo brand and uh, and made it accessible and really brought the cost of the equipment down as well. So it's a really good time to, to get into this, this type of technology. So to make it make the conversation around time simple, it's easy to, it's easiest to say that the turbo is five to 10 times faster than a conventional process. You know, that varies based on what you're drying, the species, the thickness, um, you know, there's a lot of different scenarios, but um, basically five to 10 times faster than a conventional process. Um, it's roughly, roughly twice as fast as the other vacuum kilns we build, the iDry Standard or the iDry Plus, which don't have plates. So there's a big time advantage there. 